Hello Internet, Big Dave here and I am cheap. How cheap? Well, I'm so cheap that I only paid $1.25 for Doc Clock, the toasted sandwich of time. Doc Clock normally retails for $4.99. This game was created by Stickmen Studios, who've made some other smaller games uh, on the Wii and Xbox Live Arcade, that sort of thing. Doc Clock, however, has uh, been, or seems to be, at least their, their most successful game or their most well-reviewed game. One of their games, Dragon Master Spellcaster, got horrible reviews. Um, I don't know if it was really a bad game, but critics didn't like it. Then again, critics don't always know what they're talking about, right? So guys, we are going to follow Doc Clock as he sets out through time to attempt to correct the wrong that he unintentionally committed when he turned his cat... Franklin into a cactus. I tell you all that because I don't want to have to play the initial little bit of story that uh, introduces you to the concepts of the game because it's about five minutes of not a lot of entertainment. So guys, we are going to rejoin the story in progress as we have been whisked away to the future and find ourselves in quite an interesting position. 2,048 years, 256 days, 16 hours, 8 minutes, and 2 seconds later. My shed, it's been destroyed. Hmm, we can't be in the past, we must be in the future. But where's the time machine? I don't know. Let's find out. Okay, so starting off, we have a nice little stair-step puzzle here. In the early going of this game, this is a lot of what you're doing. You are just navigating terrain, navigating terrain. And, uh, pro tip, guys, anything you pass that you can pick up, pick it up and keep it. Because you never know when you're going to need this stuff. And at least a couple of times while playing, I've had to come quite a long... Ooh, what's this? Hmm, no humans, huh? Yes. Now, the smart alecky fellow on your back is Sack. He is the sentient robot backpack that you wear, which seems to have... The, uh, uh, no, uh, use your words which seems to have an ability to hold an infinite amount of objects and uh, him and the doctor don't really seem to get along uh, sack and old doc clock but they are forced together in this anti-human future alright there's a switch what do we do with switches we throw them it's the only reason switches exist, to be thrown. It is their lot in life, I suppose. So let's talk a little bit about the art style of this game. It's great. It's fantastic. Um, it's a little bit of uh, Sunday comic strip, and also uh, it's got a slightly modern feel to it. I like the little curly cues on these tree limbs. Good stuff. So again, we're going to pack up all of our business here because... Guarantee you, we're going to need this stuff. Oh, look, we could use that plank. Oh, you think so? There we go. Thank you, Sack. Stating the obvious. Oh, we got to push that button. Good thing we very smartly kept those boxes. Button is pushed. So again, basic puzzle solving. Building of... Uh, building your way over obstacles. Look at this snake. <laughs> it's like a drawing of a snake on a stick in a tree. Okay. Oh, okay. A human, prepare to be exterminated! Hmm, prepare for my wrath. Melvin the Destroyer, you will be my five millionth victim. <laughs> you just walk away from him. Just, Just walk away. He's just a head on a stick, right? A seesaw puzzle. Seesaw puzzle. Oh, that thing smacked me. Alright, love a seesaw puzzle. Whoa! Um, counterweight. Okay, here we go. How about that? That'll do. Nice. Alright. Put that back into the backpack. And we are moving on. So... How am I feeling about this game? Well, it's pretty good so far. I'm enjoying it. I've played a little bit of it uh, prior to recording. And uh, overall, yeah, I like it. And they're telling you right now about the other unique mechanic that is in this game. A little bit of a Braid-esque feature, but then again, so many games use this uh, feature now. 
it's pretty standard. You can reverse time. So you don't really die uh, in this game. If you make a mistake, you just reverse time and you fix it. Uh, those look like they're going to yep fall out from under me. Look at this garden gnome up here. That's great. Okay, move this way. Oh, I see another switch. You know what we need to do with that. Okay, moving. This looks suspicious. Is something going to follow me? Okay, no. Spikes up there. That should be fun to tackle. Can I can I climb that? Oh, yeah, good. Yeah, I get... Uh, it does get a little tedious constantly having to build yourself little stair steps because there's no jumping in this game. <laughs> we get there faster. <laughs> Probably so, Sack. Why did I close the Sack? I don't have any idea. So, let's see, we got to rotate this. You can rotate with the mouse wheel or Q and E. So the control layout is actually pretty nice on the PC. I don't know if this game is actually on any consoles or not, but uh, I like the control layout so far for the PC. Drop that. These little spike puzzles are, are somewhat unforgiving, so I'm going to be very careful with my placement, because if even the smallest amount of spike is exposed, you will die. switch. And again, we're going to bring all this stuff with me because I can guarantee you that at some point we're going to need it again. It's just that sort of a game. And look, we need this right now because we got to get back down. Rotate that again. To position. Overall, some of the animations are a little jerky, but uh, it kind of just feeds into the styling of the game. I mean, I don't... I notice it, but I don't mind it. Put it that way. <laughs> this giraffe, look at that. That's hilarious. Look at this, the big loudspeakers. Okay, we gotta put a box on a button. I can't see the button, but we've got to do it. I'm going to assume that I can't swim or go in this water. Let's just make sure. Oh no, I can't swim! Information that would have been nice to have 30 seconds ago. But luckily we can go back. All right, here we go. Let's make ourselves a little bridge here. Making a bridge, making a bridge. All right, and we need to press the button. Push button. There we go. And I definitely want that box. <laughs> Squirrel. <laughs> Oh, Lord. Okay, I see an umbrella. Stand on the umbrella, okay. Oh. Oh, wait, the umbrella kept going. Ah, oh. uh, a toasted sandwich! Oh, it fell down. Crap. Um. Alright. Well, let's go down after it. Oh, no! Wow. Wow. I lived! And I got the toasted sandwich. Appropriate celebration for a delicious toasted sandwich. Okay, we got our umbrella here. Unfortunately, guys, I think I'm running out of time. We are at the exit. Look at this fantastic bunny, crucified bunny. I don't know. All right, level complete. Let, that's a perfect stopping point. Let's talk about Dot Clock and the Toasted Sandwich of Time. I really, really enjoyed this game. It's a fun little puzzle platformer. Uh, it's the interplay between Dot Clock and the uh, robot backpack sack is wonderful. Uh, the puzzles do get more complex, and the coolest thing that happens is later on you actually start to have to build contraptions. That's a little more complex, and I don't want to embarrass myself by showing you that, but I may play through the game a little bit more and make a follow-up video. In fact, that's a plan I have for a lot of these games. Play a little further in, and then do a follow-up. I'm going to make a whole series of follow-up videos where I'm, I'm continuing to play the games and giving you a look at how I feel a month later, a week later, what have you. So, with Doc Clock, let's talk about our rating. I'm going to give Doc Clock, actually, I'm going to give him five bucks out of five. Yes, indeed. I know it's been a while since we've used the rating system, so for new subscribers, we rate things on a one to five buck scale. One being, I want my money back. Five being, I would pay full price for this, regardless of the price. We don't spend any more than five dollars on games, but a five buck out of five rating means this game is so great, I pay fifty dollars if that's how much it costs. 
Dot clock only costs five dollars, so it's easy to give it a five out of five. But I really feel that way. For a dollar twenty-five, this is an amazing deal. At five dollars, it's still a great deal. Let's look at our stats here for the end of the level. Melvin the Destroyer. Again, Doc Clock and the Toasted Sandwich of Time. Highly recommend it. It's been an enjoyable puzzle platformer. Take a look at it. It's on Steam. And, uh, yeah, I think that's pretty much it, guys. Until next time, take it easy.